In this video of SOLIDWORKS, I will show you how to create more logs. Begin by opening a new part document. Right click on your front plane and pick Sketch. Go to the Sketch tab, pick the Circle tool, and then draw a circle starting at the origin. Click on Smart Dimensions and give this circle a dimension of 20 millimeters. Click OK and exit the sketch. Go to Features and Extrude Bar Space. Pick Midplane for the end condition and change the depth to 120. Click OK. Right click on the material and pick Edit Material. Scroll down to Woods and pick Oak. Apply this and then close this window. Go to your front view. Right click on the surface and click Sketch. Go into the Sketch tab and pick a center rectangle from the drop down. Draw a rectangle starting at the origin and then click OK. While holding the Control key, Click on this top edge and the edge of the circle and pick a tangent relation. Click on Smart Dimension and then click on the top edge of the rectangle. Enter a dimension of 10. Apply this and go to the Features tab. Click on Extrude Bar Space. Rotate the model around and then double click on the back surface. Click OK. Go to the top view. Click on the surface and click on Sketch. Go to the Sketch tab and pick the center rectangle you had used previously. Draw a rectangle outwards as shown. Click on Smart Dimension and click on the center of the rectangle and the top edge of the part. Enter a dimension of 20. For the vertical edge, enter a dimension of 20. And for the horizontal edge, enter a dimension of 20 as well. Click on Smart Dimension to exit out of it. While holding the Control key, click on the center of the rectangle and the origin. Pick a vertical relation. Now this sketch is all black, which means that it is fully defined. Exit the sketch and go to the Features tab. Click on Extruded Cut and drop down this tree. From the drop down, pick the sketch you just created. Enter a depth of 5 and click OK. Click on the extruded cut you just created and then pick the mirror feature. Expand this tree again and choose the top plane. Click OK. Then when you rotate your model around, you can see how your part looks so far. Expand the cut extrude feature and right click on the sketch. Click on these glasses to show the sketch. Go back into the top view. Click on this surface and pick Sketch. Go to the Sketch tab and choose the circle. Draw a circle starting at the center of this rectangle. Give it a smart dimension of 5. Then exit the sketch. Go to the Features tab and extrude cut this sketch. For the end condition, choose Through All and click OK. Then right click on the sketch and click on those glasses to hide the sketch of that rectangle. While holding the control key, click on the cut extrude, the mirror, and the last cut extrude you created, and then click on Linear Pattern. 
For the direction, pick a vertical edge as shown. Change the distance between these instances to 80 and change the number of instances to 2. Then click OK. Go to the top view. Click on the top surface and pick Sketch. Go to the Sketch tab and choose the center rectangle. Draw a center rectangle starting at the origin. Click on the center rectangle again to exit out of it. Give the top edge a smart dimension of 5. Then right click and click select to get out of smart dimension. While holding the control key, click on these two edges and pick the collinear relation. Then exit out of the sketch and go to the features tab. Pick extruded cut and give it a depth of 5. Click OK. And now you just need to mirror this feature onto the other side. Click on cut extrude and click on the mirror feature. Expand the tree and pick the top plane for the plane to mirror about. Click OK. And you are done with this log. So save this part. Then double click on the log and you'll see these dimensions appear. The blue one represents the length of the log. Double click on it and enter a dimension of 200. Click on the rebuild button and as you can see you need to change the distance or the instances of the linear pattern. So click on the linear pattern and choose Edit Feature. Change the number of instances to 3 and click OK. Then click on the drop down next to the Save icon. Choose Save As and give it a different name. Then save this. Once you have done that, double click on the part again and change this 200 dimension to 280. Rebuild this, click on the linear pattern, and choose Edit Feature. Change the number of instances to 4, click OK, and then go back and save this as a different name.